Good evening, and welcome to This Week in Review. Tonight's stories include Goose Visits Burgio, Renovations to the United Church Hall Underway, the BDDB Annual General Meeting, these stories plus community events, the BBS Playbill, Off the Rack, and more coming up after this. It takes community to heal a village. In Northern Mali, USC Canada works with local partners to find community-based ways to ensure mother-child health, food security, and jobs. Canadian agencies are helping to renew and strengthen communities throughout the developing world. This means greater opportunities for global villagers. Canadians in partnership, finding solutions that work. On Monday of this week, we received a call from Cliff Beldridge letting us know that there was a goose in the cold near his house. Early Monday morning, Cliff and Betty Beldridge was greeted by the sight of a Canada goose in the water just below their house. With the winter we have been experiencing, it was nice to see this goose, a sure sign spring is here, even though at times it still doesn't feel that way. The goose seemed to be just resting after a long flight back from the south. The goose stayed around for most of the morning and at one point came ashore on the grass just above the water. Residents in the area treated their guests with some breadcrumbs. After a much needed rest, the goose moved on. Yeah. Yeah. On Monday of this week, renovations began on the United Church Hall. This project is for an eight-week period. Five individuals have been hired to carry out the work. Under the direction of the four-person Larry Rhymes, quite a bit of work has to be completed in, it in just eight short weeks. During this eight-week period, workers will be replacing and repairing the eaves and the roof. The building will have styrofoam insulation, new vinyl siding, new windows, and doors. Some repairs will be done to the basement as well. On the inside, some of the work will include a drop ceiling, new underlay, and floor tiles. The washrooms will be relocated and renovated. On Thursday of this week, when we visited, the crew were busy working at the eaves. Four-person Larry Rhymes told us this job was taking longer than normal because they have to extend the eaves from their present 6 inches to 14 inches to accommodate the work that will be done on the sides of the building. The workers will be putting 2 by 2 by 16s styrofoam insulation and plywood to the sides of the building and this will bring the walls out further than they are now. When the tie bar and siding are put on, this would mean the eaves would be too narrow. By the end of this week, work on the eaves will be completed. 
The next step in the renovations will be making repairs to the roof. We will keep you updated on the progress of this project. While we were visiting United Church Project, we noticed a group of people gathered around a boat. Larry Rhymes told us that this was Calvin Ingram's new boat. We thought everyone was looking at just another boat. This was not the case. This is the first 25-foot fiberglass boat of this kind in Burgio. As we listened to the men talk about the boat, we realized that it was quite nice. One gentleman stated that she was a sturdy boat and good for fishing. She was built in bad despair and bears the name Three Grandsons. With this new boat, Calvin will be able to have a larger fish quota. We wish Calvin every success with his new vessel. Stay tuned for more of this week in review coming up after this. Communication is the beginning of understanding, and understanding is the basis for problem solving. USC Canada believes communication should know no borders. A farmer's field in Ethiopia offers innovation for old problems in Nepal. A community seed bank in Bangladesh sparks ideas for one in Mali. All over the developing world, Canadians in global partnership, finding solutions that work. On Thursday of this week, we were invited to the annual general meeting of the Burgio Diversification Development Board. The meeting was called to order at 7 p.m. by the Economic Development Officer, Greg Illier. He welcomed everyone on behalf of the board and introduced the board of directors. Joanne Clark brought greetings on behalf of our MHA, the Honorable Calvin Parsons. Next on the agenda were several housekeeping items, including adoption of the agenda and adoptions of the last minute from the AGM held on April 26, 2002. Guest speaker for the evening was Mayor Alistair Ann. The evening continued with the financial report an annual report presented by Board Chairperson John Grant. Elections of officers was up next. However, the Board was unsuccessful in filling all the positions required by the Board's bylaws up for election on the annual basis. They filled one position and are presently looking for another three. The meeting concluded with Greg Ayer thanking everyone who attended. If you are interested in the BDDB and would like to become a member of the board, just contact the BDDB office at 886-2302. On Friday of this week, we were invited to the closing celebration for Bridging the Gap. This program began on July the 8th, 2002, with nine participants learning about the greenhouse at Coastal Growers, who were the sponsoring business. The purpose of this program was to bridge the gap between education and employment. With instruction from Wanda Skinner, the students did classroom work in math, language, reading, and science. The work at the Greenhouse helped participants learn all aspects of growing tomatoes from planting, pruning, harvesting, to packing, and much more. On Friday at 12 noon, Invited guests gathered to celebrate with nine participants who graduated from the Bridging the Gap program.
The afternoon got underway with the welcome and the grace over the hot roast beef dinner. While everyone relaxed and enjoyed their tea and dessert, the guest speaker spoke to the gathering. Mr. Searle Oregon spoke on behalf of the College of the North Atlantic. For the zone board, Mr. Tom Utchings was invited to say a few words. Bev Kirby with the Community Education Network also spoke. For the participants, the presentation of diplomas was the highlight of the afternoon. This may only look like a fancy piece of paper, but it represents months of learning, hard work, and the satisfaction of knowing the completion of this program is a great accomplishment. The afternoon concluded with thanks from the participants. Guests were then invited to the greenhouse for a social. We extend congratulations to the nine participants on successfully completing the Bridging the Gap program. On Friday of this week, SJCH Drama Club went to St. George's to take part in the Regional Drama Festival. This year, the drama team will be presenting a play called Characters during the Regional Drama Festival. Students from 7 to 12 travel to Appalachia High School in St. George's with drama coach Mr. Linehan. The Regional Drama Festival is always exciting for the students. In previous years, St. John's Central High students have brought home honors for Best Actor and Actress, Best Lighting and Best Play. We wish them every success again this year. We look forward to their return when they will present their play to this community. Stay with us for Off the Right, the community events, and the BBS Playbill, all after this. Gotta support the puck. Do I have to tell you this? And we're getting killed on the board. Uh -oh. This is your yeah. territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. What? Al? All right. The itsy bitsy spider. Climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, sweetheart. Hey, it's my girl. Love. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Off the rack. This week as we scanned our tape rack, we came across a tape of a novice team winning the Robert Lee Trophy. Let's look back to April the 18th, 
Tune in on Tuesday for a rebroadcast of Pansy's Garden. There is no TV bingo scheduled for Wednesday, April the 16th due to Oli Week. Join Pansy and the gang for two stories, a craft, and lots of fun on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on Pansy's Garden. Next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. we will have religious revelations from the United Church. And I'll be here again next week with This Week in Review. For This Week in Review, I'm Marie Rose. Good night and God bless.